This video is going to talk about several recent updates to the TradeFunder web platform, specifically some updates that relate to stock trading. The first update you'll note is the ability to detach windows. Next to the symbol field on the chart, you can select the detach window button, and this is going to create an entirely separate window, which you can then drag across to a different monitor or a different screen. So you're no longer contained to just one window like you were previously. This one window can be operated on its own. So you can adjust the symbol of just this one window. You can change all the settings. You can also create multiple symbols within the one chart. So this is now its own separate window. And again, you can drag it across multiple screens or multiple monitors on your, on your setup. A second update was the ability to create watch lists. So on the top, you can select watch list. And what this is gonna do is load the watch list section. Favorites is the section where you create your own watch list. To create and add a symbol, you select the plus, you type in the symbol, and then when selected, that symbol will now be added to the watch list section. You can then sort by either the percent daily volume or the plus minus on the day. So that's gonna be the net gain or loss. So when you select the field, the column, it's gonna sort by either the plus minus in descending order or vice versa. There's also going to be pre-built in watch lists available. Several of the indices are here, Dow Jones, NASDAQ 100, the S&P 100, and the S&P 500. So when selected, all of the symbols within those, within those indexes are going to show up. So if you don't want to create your own, these are available for you as well. Two other updates are going to relate more to trading specifically. The first is going to be the buy and sell buttons visible in the chart. When selected, this is going to be either a buy market order if it's the green or sell market order if it's the red. The quantity of the buy or the sell is going to be dependent upon what the quantity in the trade panel field is set to. In this case, you can see it's set to 50. So if selected, if the buy is selected, that's going to be a buy market for 50. And if the red is selected, that's going to be a sell market for 50. So the quantity is set by the amount in the trade panel field. The second update is going to be the trade panel itself. Previously, it was going to be one click. So you saw the trade panel, it looked like this. This was like the, the layout and now you can adjust that to something separate. So the multi-click is going to be a more expanded, more comprehensive trade panel. To operate the, the multi-click, you need to select the direction, so either buy or sell. And then if you want to select a limit, you can now set the limit price right within the trade panel versus having to adjust it on the chart. Also, what you'll note is that you can do the OCO in this section as well. When selected, it's going to have you set the OCO levels based on one of these four inputs. The price is going to be just the price of the underline, so whatever like the price is on the chart. Ticks is going to refer a little bit more to future specifically. Money is going to be the net notional gain or loss. So say you want to risk $200 to make $500. So that's going to be the way the money uh, field operates. And then ACC percent is account percent. So that's going to refer to the overall account balance, meaning you want to risk 1% of your account. So whatever your account balance is, 1%, and your take profit's going to be 2 to 3%. And again, this refers to your overall account balance. Those are going to be the main updates on the web platform. And we feel like this has created a more user-friendly experience. Uh, if you do have any questions about any of the updates or if your setup looks a little bit, a little bit different, uh, please send in a support ticket to support at tradefunder.com uh, and we can help address those questions.